Hi. And in this video, we are going to be making this look nicer, everything interactive, all that stuff. So first of all, this button is not interactive. You can you're like clicking the flag on him and you do anything. So if you go on this, it just has a one misbreak break click. But I'm going to be changing that. So take out that and get rid of that. And then put, uh, see this? Put that there, but then go forever. If else, if like this. This is quite commonly used. It's actually used a lot. So I'm gonna go and far cloaked forever. If touching mouse pointer, I'm gonna do a little effect. So we can do set. Size to 110 and then else it's size to 100. Now, already you can have a look at this. Oh, yeah, you see this broadcast start. Put this inside of the if and then in the boolean thing here, I think that's what it's called, put the mouse down. And now as you can see, the flag will be constantly burning. And if we go over the play button, it will kind of. Oh, yeah. You need to put the hide in here as well, sorry that's my bad. See, it'll kind of grow. This is kind of cool. But now if we go down here to effect, in here we can set brightness effect to zero. The thing about it being white is actually very good, because it's very good for this to be white. Because then we can go up here and we can set brightness to minus 20. Now, if you hover over it, you can do that. That's kind of a bit too much, so maybe down to like 10. Okay, yeah. But now it doesn't really work well because the background's grey. So, we can make this button kind of look like the tank or the bullet. So. Well, what does it look like if you can experiment with this and do whatever you want? If you don't like what I'm doing, but I'm going to do something like this. How's that look? That looks alright. I am going to stick with that. Nice chunky button there. Yeah, it's okay, I'm probably going to shrink this down. Teeny bit. As much as I can. There we go. We run this. We kind of have this effect. This is pretty good. So, yeah. But, we could change some other stuff maybe. So, this might be a long stretch, but I'm going to make a new sprite. And backdrop. You see all this. Get rid of this quickly, so you can do this. Group, copy. Make sure this is copied, and delete it. And I'll send it back that. Go to this sprite, paste this in. No, that's just there, that's bad. But if we go to code, and put the broadcast in there, we can make it do what we want, so. Put this many, one far clicked, and I receive start, and I receive loops. And as many you want, go to looks, and it's just a case of hiding show. So show, and then when I receive start, I'm gonna hide, when I receive lose, show. And we're gonna wanna go to, okay? And we want him to go to what we want, so.
permanent, but kind of. So now, we go like this. It's kind of like nothing ever happened. And you're like, oh, well, isn't that kind of pointless? Yes, that would be pointless. And I also noticed that the bullets kind of don't hide if you send the missiles when you get hit. So I'm going to go when I receive lose. Delete this claim. And no, don't do that, but put it in this style. So now if we die, the bullets will instantly disappear. Like that. Let me just small thing. I'll get my skill something a little better. But now if we go to this. One flag clicked. If else. And then go hovering button. And this variable will say yes or no depending on if we're hovering the button or not. And so this isn't complicated, it's very easy. I mean, maybe not to understand, but it's very simple. So if hovering button equals yes, then we run some code. Else, we point in direction 90. That will probably help. Um, and set size to 100. I'm just gonna do that. And now we've got a button. If touching mouse pointer, set hovering button to yes. And then if it's not touching mouse pointer, then set hovering button to anything that's no, or yang or whatever. So now if we go to this, we can put some code in here. This button. I'm just going to do a forever loop. And if I'm going to use yes, we are going to make it kind of move left and right. So, yeah. We're not moving it left and right, we just kind of make it turn a bit. So maybe turn one degrees that way. Repeat. How's that look? Yeah, it kind of does that. And then we can go like this, maybe. That looks okay. But we should probably make it. Mm, make it take longer, so. Minus 0.5. So it's the same amount, I might just take a bit longer. And if not, we can just put a weight in there. So yeah, that's kind of good. So now we've got that. I say... We can maybe add an effect. What about... So Right, let's put the zero. We change its effect by ten. No, not ten, because that's twenty times. Yeah, one will do. Minus one. Make sure you put in the minuses in those two. You can notice the difference if you look hard, but this overdoing it. This might be ever doing it. How about two? Let's try two. I say two is good. I kind of like two. If you like that, then you can keep it. If you don't, then you don't have to. I say that looks pretty solid there. So yeah, let me send some extra adjustments to the menu and stuff. On it, if you want, you can also change the background to like make sure you can copy your game name. Delete this bitmap, and you can go with this. I mean, you can kind of make it. Go from a light grey. Over 
right now, we're in this spot, see if you can like more. You can add a gradient. And when you're done, vector. I did a horrible line, I don't know. Vector. Paste. And there you go, it's now a gradient, flashy, better button. And yeah. If you want anything else, I could do like an updated version. But I said that's pretty good. So yeah, that's gonna be the uh, sort of last episode of this. I think. And that's gonna be it. So yeah. Like, subscribe if you liked. If you found this helpful, let me know. And yeah. That's boss fight game and scratch completed. That's what, John. And bye.